All right, this is Evolve Artist Block 1, Assignment 14. We're doing a pair on a more complex stand with a cone next to it. So, still eyes, you know? We want a good mix of fruit. I don't know why it's always fruit. I guess it's because they have semi-geometric and yet still a little bit complex shapes. So they're really good for still eyes. So we've got fruit, we've got your cone, which is a simple geometric shape. And then we have this weird stand thing I guess that's a stand, I don't know what you call that. But as usual, laying down the shadows first and then laying down the lighter colors. And <clears throat> this is all in preparation for us eventually to do our own our own still life setups, which will happen in block two. Because as usual, this is Sarah from the future <laughs> talking about what I did in the past, reflecting. Um, I like going back and looking at what I did when I was first starting this program, now that I'm a block and a half, well, not quite a half, past it. But anyways, so um, yeah, still laying down the colors. Anyways, I guess in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I'm doing the Evolve program and what it means to me. When I was younger, I had some classmates in high school who were um, artists, actually middle school as well, I suppose, just classmates. I went to not the same school, but the same group of kids didn't move. So grew up with the same group of kids. And a, a lot of them were artists, which was very interesting because I wasn't at the time, but I was influenced by them. I loved looking at what they did and I never thought that I could do it myself, but I guess that seed was planted all those years ago. And then one day I was just kind of looking at art videos on YouTube as I occasionally do because I, even though I'm not, I didn't really think of myself as an artist and I really didn't think I was capable of doing any of that. I like watching people draw. I like people, I like watching videos of people showing behind the scenes of what they're doing. And some of my favorites are art and cooking to some degree, but I really like watching art videos. So I was watching an art video and then this video from Daniel Folta popped up from Evolve Artist. And I was like, what is this? And something about it piqued my attention. I've seen ads before, but I don't know what it was about this particular YouTube ad, but something about it made me more curious. So I decided to look it up online and I found the Evolve Artist website. And then I found these podcasts and blogs of and other YouTube videos of people who were doing the program. And I started to realize that this is unlike any other program I've ever seen because I've seen, I have read a few art books I took an art class once, it was colored pencils, granted, but at the time the, the instructor, he was pretty laid back, my color pencil teacher, he was just kind of like, okay, so um, your first project is to draw this thing, and then now we're gonna do a horse, now we're gonna do a space scene, now we're gonna do dinosaurs. And I was like, I'm not really that interested in drawing dinosaurs, and he's like, yeah, that's okay, just, just draw them. And I was like, all right, if you say so, because I kind of have that mentality of, well, I don't know what I'm doing, so I might as well listen to you. Um, but it ended up being kind of, um, he would just be like, here, draw this thing. And then I would draw something and then bring it to him. And he'd be like, oh, you should fix this, work on that a little bit. And then during class, we would just sit there for an hour and work on our, our drawings. And I wasn't really learning a whole lot. So after a few months, I ended up kind of just not continuing. And that was it in terms of my art education. That was back in middle school, something like that. I don't remember. Anyways. But I always liked art. I always admire people who can do a really good job. And I particularly admired realistic art because abstract, I don't really fully get that. And so when I saw Evolve Artists, they were teaching um, how to do realistic art and they were doing it in a step-by-step -step manner. And then Kevin explaining his teaching philosophy that immediately got me. And so here I am doing Evolve and learning how to do, this weird flickering light is really odd. Anyways, <laughs> learning how to do, um, painting from starting with black and white and there you go finished picture of a pair on a stand finally that highlight actually worked this time <laughs> anyways that's all i have to say for this one um thanks for watching remember to be creative and i'll see you in the next video